It has started. Please let us watch this game. This is such a this is actually such a good game. We are in. We are in, boys. All right. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's another Beyond the Summit casting, grant casting, casting, casting presentation. Midas versus Lucini Gaming. And this is actually a really big matchup to have on day one. It, I think a few of the teams are probably not using their real accounts, which means their MMR gets uh, buffered on face it, which means one of them is a super low seed, obviously. And it's going to be very interesting. Because Midas obviously really good. I thought they got invited to the qualifiers, but apparently their their uh, invite got rescinded because they changed players. I was almost put. Didn't Midas Club Elite get invited and they got taken off? Now well, we're just chilling with music at this point. We're just chilling, chilling like a straight up villain. So we went from a game that was super hype to just, I didn't want to miss anything because this is the beginning of the game, right? You don't want to miss anything. This is, this is a fresh game. Midas, I think winner of this, let me go look at the bracket actually. Give me a sec. Winner of this has a very free bracket run actually into finals. Interesting, interesting. Well, we're back. Actually, give me one sec here. And, oh my goodness, I gotta turn off the music. Okay, everyone, say goodbye. Goodbye, Chill Hop. Goodbye, Grant. Oh, that was nice of him. And we are back into the game. Midas versus Lucini Gaming. Midas on the Radiant sign, Lucini on the Dire sign. Lucini always makes round of 16, if not 8, in every single open quarter I've seen, but they can never quite finish it off. But here we are. Ricky, obviously, 40 attack. He has that fairy fire, 2 damage. I mean, he's very low, obviously, but you get the multiplier and adds it. Let's do it. Uh, 0.5 Agi damage multiplier. He is sitting at 34. You minus that in half, 17. So that's 17 more damage. I actually did the math. I am actually a wizard, meaning he has 57 plus 2. That's 59 damage from the back mitigated by armor. We're going to give it 54, but then you add 2 damage per second orb of venom because 1 gets mitigated off, you keep 2. You are very lucky. Each blow chopper's my blade. And it is an oracle. We don't see many. Uh-oh, look it. Oh no, they have a dust! They purge it off, they actually purge off his iron shell, they still have one on the Ricky. They're gonna steal it. Who actually gets it? The Dark Seer gets in there spinning, they don't know who to go for! And a triple Midas take from Midas game. Wait, a triple rune take from Midas game. Pardon me, if they had triple Midas this early, that would actually be hype. And look at this, here we uh oh. Pico is in a little bit of trouble. He's actually getting a massacre down, but on the backside, look at this, the cell. Stealth Assassin going for it. Gets the level one stun. They get the kill. So three runes. But they get first blood. They take the lead net worth wise. And now look at Theo Lacour. I definitely don't think I'm saying that right. We'll just call him Theo. And Dust comes out. Will they be able to bring him down as well? They have a stun maybe. No, he doesn't. He has to clarity, but he'll just get a hit off. He's going to get put under a little bit. There's no way this young man's dying. He has a fairy fire as well. Wait. Ouch. 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 Get some last hits tonight. Storm. Versus DK. The thing, right, with DK is he's never really going to die in lane, especially versus what? Witch Doctor. Maybe when Witch Doctor hits two, you get a Maldick, you could bring him down, but he's not. He's going to trade farm. Right now it's 2 1 versus 5 2. You, you assume Storm Spirit's going to win this early game, especially in the mid lane, and that's fine. On the other side of things, Leeless. Doing good. Get, oh, gets, well, I mean, oh, he actually got that creep, for real? I think he meant to cast it when he thought it was pushing the wave, but it goes over here. That's huge, and he's going to lose his, 
He's lost his clarity. I mean, he's still pretty full mana, but he lost his clarity. And this thing's just melt. Is he getting a farm from this? It's gonna be close. Oh, the jug's like, nah, dog. <gasps> the juggernaut, nice play there. And that ward is actually on point like icicles. Bottom lane, we see a pull coming from Pico, and he gets it. Drasko right now, he actually just flew in to the airport. He literally came in here. He's like, Grant's the only reason I can't sub. Grant is actually the man. And I'm like, yo, what up, Dizzy D? That's Drasko's nickname here. And he can't. He actually cast like three games with me. He's taking a break. Like, he, he actually needs to rest. You guys know Drasko. My man's like 72. Chill out. Come on, guys. He gets a break here and there. I'll take your tribute. I'll take that. Fucking ass. This guy's been around for quite some time. I, I really think Midas is definitely the favorite in this game. Midas, I swear it was in a qual. I, I could have sworn. Something went wrong, though. Level 2 Sand King. I li I also like any team that has a Sand King I always favor, because I think he's the best here in Dota right now, which is Dire, meaning who do I favor? I'll do 51-49 on Dire Radiant. Yeah, I like, I like Radiant. Okay, just get a nuke off. Grant's get a... Where is that even at? Just offline? How do you... Huh. Witch Doctor Sven. Miss that, and now, well... Sven just get a farm. Poor Man Shield, Quelling Blade against... Like, Magnetar is getting levels, though. He has the same thing. Poor Man Shield, Quelling Blade. No boots, though. Is the biggest problem. And, oh, missed last hit. Let's watch DK hit under the tower. It's hard. He gets that one. This one's impossible, I think. He's the greatest! That was actually so perfect. That was actually really nice for early time. Illusion, this could scare him. This might actually scare him. Now he has to know it's fake now, yeah, and he's gonna get the gold. Nice, plus two. Plus two? <laughs> that's that's horrible. Misses one there, that was a little bit rough to take though. Is he gonna, nice, gets the right. This guy's good. He's gonna bottle crow with old Butch. His name, right? What's up, Butch? He's so cute. Sand King's the only level two running around. You need to get, be able to get Blink Dagger up on that one. But you cannot. Unfortunately, Radiant is getting a lot of farm on this Sven. Obviously, Sven's kiteable, but who, who do they really have to kite? I mean, you have a few stuns and an Oracle Q, but you don't really have slows or anything or purges, which what you want. And then here we go. My boy Theo just chasing down Sand King. Did he see it? No? There's just two invisible heroes. Nice range creep deny there. Bottom lane, Cristiano. If you don't know, Cristiano actually played a lot in NEL. One of the few South... I think him and Tomato were two of the biggest South American players who always played in NA servers. And they learn a lot. I think Cristiano is usually a mid player, but when you're on a team and they need something, you just play whatever they want because you want to be on a team. Meanwhile, mid lane, yellow's just soaking up experience. He's still only level two, which is very low. Co, KO, KO Dash. I, that's actually a sick rap name. Yo, what up? KO Dash on the mic, spitting it from the one, two tables, and I'm saying burning it live, and I'm like, damn, KO Dash. You are fire. Now, here's the biggest thing. We're going to talk about this while we're casting this game. Not really too much excitement. What's the deal with DJs? Are you guys DJing or are you playing music? Because there's a big difference here. We're going to have a gank coming in actually on the Dragon Knight who has eight armor. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he kill. Is he going for the kill? This man's crazy. Oh, on the backside here, he comes and they get the kill. They're going to try to go on Dragonite now. He has so much armor. Does he have enough mana to go do another thing? He's just regening all of it. My man's actually going to blast it down. He has a caustic finale up on him. Dragonite has a Q. Can he go up there? Oh, he has to be so, so careful. Stun. Oh, he wants to. He. T oh, 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 my God. Goodness, the dragon! Oh, the bait up! Uh oh, he's like, wait a minute, why are you wait for me, diggity dog? No sentry here. Should just foam around that very well. Could have been storm dying or drain I dying. Both play very safely. That was actually so nerve wracking. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Stupendous. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Sven just farming up treads into Echo Saber. Echo Saber is such a good item on Sven. Like, Sven at Magnetar are definitely the two. I love... I hope Magnetar gets the two. I don't think he will. Probably go blink, but... I really... What the hell? How do I disable all chat? 
WTF dra what, what did the dragon do? Whoa! We might have a fight. No, we don't. Just Mandy chilling. Gets the fire breath. Doing quite a bit of damage to him. On the other side, though, he he is getting harassed. Can he get the stun up? Maldic flies. He wants to get the double stun downhill, but he can't do that. And he has Maldic on him. Meanwhile, Mandy's almost dead from the solo Dragon Knight, but almost only works in horseshoes, hand grenades, and the hokey poke. Meanwhile, Pico just moving around the map. Uh, I, am I the only person who doesn't like Pico to Gaio? I, it's just tomatoes and onions. Why don't they just call it tomatoes and onions? It's always confused me, but that's for another time for sure. Yep, and this definitely is a Lucini, I always forget. Brazil is definitely on the right side. We have a stun actually coming. Cristiano gonna take a lot of damage. He's actually gonna skewer him into the tower range, but look who's here. Smoke cloud, blink strike gets him down. Cristiano goes down. That's huge. That was right before a six. And he was actually farming decently. He was only about 500 away from, oh, that's rough. And Dire, I like what Dire side's doing with his Dragonite. The Storm's actually struggling, which is kind of surprising. And he was looking at the rune. Oh, and he saw it was his boy. What the heck? How do I turn that off? I'm offline. How did he find me? Interesting. Uh-oh, and here we go. He's actually going the Storm here. He wanted to bait out the stun and just get away from it, but he doesn't. Oh, goes for the range group tonight. Doesn't quite get it. Meanwhile, bottom lane again. Yellow's just going for him. Oh, but it's an empowered Sanky. This is actually kind of scary. He needs to be careful. He could just get stunned and go down here, but it spins back in. He has a stun up. Can he get it off, though? He's going to throw. No, he's not going to throw. He does finally throw it. The raindrop tanks one. Oh, but it's Mandy coming in the backside. They do finally bring down Theo on this stealth assassin. And now here we go. Coconut's down. Level 2 Maldix here. Cristiano's not looking good. Another raindrop charge burn. He... He's going to die before it. Yeah, he does, so he doesn't lose it at least. Radiant structures are fortified. The Dragon Knight we see just sieging down the tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Trust me, I know it's... I know it's not I say red and debate, yes. Middle lane, they're gonna try to bring down Dragonite. He'll What? He has zero only one point armor. My man's still living. He has Maldix. He's actually trying to and KO Dash on the backside. Kills the witch doctor and now Mandy's out of mana. This is not good. He dies. I have never seen this build. I, I'm not even kidding. I've never seen this build. This is extremely new to me. He's maxing Dragon Tail. I like it, because I think for a Storm early game, it's huge, right? He already gets 0.5 Saints more stun, which is quite a bit. But Dragon Blood, you're losing three armor alone. He would be at nine armor. Would he live there? I mean, he would have six more health regen. That is actually kind of scary. Proxima Centaur going in. Stun's going to fly out, not hit anyone. Oh, never mind. Bounces back, hits the Oracle and Sand King each once. Mask of Madness up on this fan. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They're gonna try to take Dyer's this tower down right tower now, but can attack. they? It's a little bit rough. Fire Breath gonna pull down the creeps with Juggernaut and DK ulti. This should be a free tower. No glyph. Yeah, who's gonna get it? I think you want to give it to Jug, and Jug does get it. And we haven't seen this in a while, just an empowered Juggernaut is going to be very tough to deal with, especially when he starts, when he gets a Yasha, he can start farming Ancients. They should start stacking, I think. Mandy? Oh, Raindrop tanks a lot of that damage. He wants to make him use Skewer. That's what he's doing. It's like baiting a buyback, right? When you dive a base, but he's trying to bait the Skewer. He doesn't waste it. I like that. Top lane, Ricky's scouting him out. Not level three yet, has phase boots. Dragon Knight. Still just chilling in dragon form. What do you get? 10 strength. That is a lot of strength. 
Oh, the chicken. Nice. Man, my can't see. When I have a co-caster, camera work is definitely crumbling. For shizzle. But when I'm solo, what, do I miss anything? No, just my father who let... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, KO dash. Still moving around very close to Yasha. He can actually bite after one creep. The side shop. Then he gets some power. He can do anything he really wants to. And if people, don't, if people want to learn about the other scenes, uh, I believe in America, all the favorites are through. Peter's team, Veggies, Snake Wings. In Europe, Bulldog's team goes down. I mean, it's, it's to be expected, though. I mean, Americans, they play to the standards. Europeans, I mean... Say la vie? Ces la vue? Such is life? That's three different languages. Y'all are welcome. Magnus... Pushing out bottom level two in power. Gets the last hit. Nice. Middle lane. They're actually going to try to go on Dragonite. And once again, he only has level one in the armor. So the Witch Doctor Ultimate actually does damage to him. I don't think it's going to kill him. It's only level two Malvik. But still, like, the Witch Doctor Ultimate should actually do five damage to him if he maxes this. But he's just going to hit up the shrine. They're going to get a tower out of this, which is nice. Sven should take it. He does. Top lane, there's going to heal. Cristiano is just getting targeted by Mandy hard right now. Uh, my man's getting scraped right here. These ancient prowls, we miss a kill. That's fine. It's just, it's just their carry hero. We're going to watch this. Is he going to win? Barely wins that fight. He's going to go Yasha. I mean... Most, I've actually, you see that now, even when they get Sanjin Yasha, even strength heroes go Yasha now. The move speed, attack speed, super good. So you get armor from agility too. But you lose damage by not getting the strength. It is what it is. Is he to get this deny? Yeah, he does. But Dragonite once again. Oh no, you've fallen into his trap, Yugi. And he's going to try to run back, doesn't get the stun off. They just blow him up and here comes on the backside. We're going to have an Oracle Sand King. They can't do much though. Level 10 darks here is very scary. Uh-oh. Looks like Gray or Gray's definitely crumbling. He's just spamming all over the place. Lucini falling to the Brazilians in Midas right now. And this fan has just been farming with like no HP this whole time. He hasn't even gone back. He's just farming it up. Um, yeah, level 12. Good increase of uh, 40%. You get more bonus, so that's 12. Wait, wait, let, let's. 180%, 120%, 24 bonus strength. Carry the one. Yeah, my man's sitting at like 400 damage, if my math is correct. Meanwhile, they're going to jump in middle on Mandy. He's going to get ulted. Can they bring him down, though? Get the smoke tree. It's on his team, though, you fools. And Theo actually gets him. He's trying to chase down this sand king. Is he empowered? No, he's not, but he still does a ton. Of he needs to ult before he gets done. He doesn't. Unfortunately, he could be a lot of trouble. He doesn't get the ult off. He needs to ult to take that dust off, man. It wouldn't take it off, but it, it would delay it, so it might fall off later. Dragonite trying to farm up level 12. Get that cleave. Jugger not moving around. Has the Yasha. He is empowered, and here we go. Needs to do these. But he's not. They're going to go top for a kill? They don't know anyone's here, unfortunately. Could it be a kill for them? Level 4 Maledict. Oh! <gasps> if he doesn't get spin off, he's dead. But, I mean, my man's going to get spin off for sure. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Um. Here we go. And that, yep, like I said, he does not get spin up. Maldic does hit. The first take of damage won't do anything to him because he's still spinning, but it, it's on him, unfortunately, without that stun. They're not going to get it. Dragon on the backside. I have no clue what's happening here. Everyone's just running around each other. They're still, Theo's still just chilling here. Radiant lose the bottom tower. Cristiano. Getting a lot closer to his blink. Sand King needs a blink as well. And Theo has gone around untouched. He's going for the Aquila. Like, he's giving him, even if he's not killing people, he's just giving him so much vision right now. They actually can't find him. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
He needs to stun him from uphill. He does. He doesn't see the storm bolt flying. They're just swinging on him. Mask of Madness is up. He is getting knocked the front door out. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. Theo moving around. Still, I. This is a new build. A lot of new builds coming. I think you're supposed to definitely. I mean, lower cooldown, though. They're going to try to defend even without their juggernaut. DK's here, level 13, getting some armor now. Hit Midas. Playing the catch up game. I mean, DK definitely scales. It's just trying to find a farm. Uh oh. Nice stunning coming from the Sand King. He needs to s do something. They just kill the Oracle on the backside, anyways. Vacuum wall comes out. Will it be enough? Christiana with the big ult. He doesn't quite hit Mandy, though. They're trying to stop anyone they can. Theo gets a kill on Sand King. It's a 2 for 0 trade right now. They're finding Christiano. He is going to go down there. Now Sand King. Grant, that's Dragonite. It sure is. He's in a lot of trouble. That might. Honestly, just one more team fight, it's good game. In a, a South American game, that's good game. When you're 9k down, Pico? Pico? Yo, chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, and he steals the rune from the roaming Ricky, which is nice. No empower. The problem is he farms so slow, like with that without that empower. But Magnetar needs to find his own farm as well, so he can't just follow the Juggernaut around. There we go. Get some power. Can go do Ancients now. They need, they need vision on this guy. Yeah. The fact he's getting given, like as Peter said at the summit, you always need a vision hero. I have never seen a vision hero give this much vision uncontested. Like yellow always knows where they're at, meaning radiant always knows where they're at. They actually can't find anybody. Cast strange picked up, obviously. No one goes. 12% of Asians so bad. Blink Dagger now picked him on Dark Seer. They have so much initiation. 10k above. Should probably switch to net worth. Sven about to be the first one to 10k. Actually beating out the Storm. Storm's farming great though. 15 Bloodstone Chargers has the treads. Treads are actually big. A big part of Storm's damage mid game. And they're just going in. Is he going to find him? He finds Cristiano. Is he going to stun up? He does. And this will be a kill. Doesn't even have to ult. He just mask a mana's double hit. Coconuts get a stone with the creeps for your boy Mandy here. On the downside though, Leelas. And fucking eh. Get to bring this tower down pretty simply. And he has a blink. Mask of mana, Sanjinyasha, and blink. They're going in. Oracle? Is he gonna go uphill for him? He does not. Doesn't want to risk it. They have a sentry down. Are they gonna kill him? He spins. Instead of ulting, because he knew his ult would come up. That's smart, smart, smart. Sixteen bloodstone charges now. Look at that mana regen. Oh my, it's quite a bit, huh? It grants tells you right there, thirty point five. That's a good thing to notice. No experience gain. Two hundred health by Witch Doctor. Usually, you'll see uh, supports get the experience because when you get the tome, the tome's affected by the experience gain, which is huge. And right now the MVP is definitely Theo. This guy is playing very well, just getting him vision. He isn't, he's only died three times. And this guy, I mean, he only has 1.2k HP. And he had way less before that 150 talent. And the fact he's not dying. But Grant, he's invisible. Well, that's fair point as well. It's almost if you could buy items that reveal invisibility. Sven, farming up their ancients. President Mask of Madness to do this. I think he actually just tread swapped to agility in but like when the dragons were attacking, so the armor mitigated, and he switched back when he was attacking with strength. That was actually sick. I don't know if he timed it right, but that was what he was doing, so he didn't cast anything. Meaning that's what he had to be doing. Or he's just going crazy. That would be safe if he was actually doing that. That's that's super min maxing. When you switch to strength for your hit and switch to agility for their hit, that's actually insane. Oh, Draskal's been here the whole time, guys. He was muted. 
Draskal, no! He's not here. Draskal actually said he dislikes all of you, and he says with a... No, I'm just kidding. Draskal's probably one of the nicest guys ever. Let's tell stories about Draskal while he's not here. So this one time it was me and Draskal. We were at the bar, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was about 1 a.m. You know, last call's coming up here pretty quick, and I'm like, yo, Draskal. I'm going to get you one more Long Island. That's it. Never mind. Initiation coming out of this Dragon Knight. Neil, okay. Yeah, he's dead. So 1 a.m., right? I get him a Long Island. You know Long Islands. They're not that strong. He chugged it in like less than five cents. And my boy, an hour later, we're kicked out of the bar, but I couldn't find Draskal. Where was he at? He was at the outdoor car wash. Not in the car. He was soaping and studying himself in the outdoor car. And I'm like, Draskal, what, what are you doing? He said... I'm just getting pup and suds, and I was like, is that a Brink reference? And he said, yeah. There actually is no end to the story. That, that's the story. Shout out to Brink. What a great Disney movie. Or is that Nick? That was Disney for sure. And they're just going to take a free Roche here. Mask of Madness up. Get the kill here. We're going to see Theo just moving around still. Getting him vision. It's, and also, if you're wondering, NA is already done for the day. This is South America, which is almost done as well. These are all best of ones. First two series tomorrow as well in every region is BO1s. And then round of four and finals is BO3s. So round of four and finals are BO3s. Christian only level. This is the problem. Christian was only level 11. The offlaner on the other side is level 14 with a mech blink. Vitality booster. He's going Crimson Guard. I like that. I really like Crimson Guard this game. I think this team needs a Crimson Guard. Like, Sand King doesn't have a blink. He needs a Crimson Guard and a blink. Where is this? Where am I looking? Oh, it's over here. Oh, KO. He has Manta. He just Mantas. Spins away. Orchid, obviously. Orchid very good on everyone but the Juggernaut who can just Manta and spin out of that. Storm just, whoa, he's soaring all the way up. TP out, though, by the Juggernaut. Nice play. Oh, that's why he max stunned to farm the neutrals quicker. I didn't think of it that way. Interesting. Going for a BK. The problem is they have no damage. They have a empowered Juggernaut who does a lot of damage, but you need more than just that. Patience from Zoe. <laughs> Dragon Knight now farm with Empower as well. Now we're just moving around. Sometimes, you know, just letting the game speak for it. That's why Dota's so beautiful, you know? You can just let it speak for itself. I'm going to take a quick nab. You guys cast for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Here comes Storm. He's going in. Oh, he's going for Cristiano. Healing Ward's up. Going to try to slow him down. Nice stun from the Sanky, who could be in a lot of trouble. Oh, only pulls back one, but it's still a nice pullback. Zones him completely out. They should live, though. Is my man going to get in here? He does. And he's full healed. Okay, wall down. Can they continue pushing? They will try. Hyper stone up. Stun flies. He hits the tower one. Wait, siege unit. Is it going to get one more hit? Here we go. It hits. It's an uphill miss. That would have taken it under 1,400 life, but unfortunately, the miss by the catapult. Right now, we just have fucking eh. Level 18, my man. Okay, 160 plus 36 strength. Oh, Christian, no, no! Oh, he tried to do it too quickly, but he doesn't get it off. Oh, and here comes the epicenter. Is it enough? The Radiant just eating through him. The war cry is too much. They have so much armor. Oh, my God. Goodness, this fan just ate them like groceries. And well, that might just be the game, huh? There wasn't much to say. Spen actually just molly whopped him. Nice blink away from Cristiano. He had to buy back, unfortunately. 
That was a good RP. The problem is, I, I thought he wanted. He wanted a skewer before silence from Storm. But the problem is he couldn't because he would have to go behind him. So I saw what he wanted to do and it was close. And now there's going to take second lane of Rax, it looks like. Gracious. Tax once every 0.4 seconds, huh? I don't think you could actually swing a sword that much, right? Good game's called, but could you actually swing a sword that quick in real life? We're talking, my man is, wait up, don't, don't end, don't end. Okay, I can't, is that a sword or a cleaver? We'll never know. There's no way you could swing something that, he has a shield. How could he actually swing a sword with one hand that? All right, I don't know about this. But the Brazilian team in Midas destroys Lucini game. Midas has always been scary. I, I, they definitely should be in uh, the regional qualifiers. I think they locked late, or they locked a different person in, so. Well, that's life. Uh, let's move over here. Let's, let's see the scoreboard. This game felt kind of close for a while. And then, I don't know, the DK got gangled. I really think going stun instead of armor really, really, f like, super hurt him. He, he could get ganked by a Witch Doctor ult. Like, Witch Doctor ult should do zero damage to DK. The fact he only had level one armor was super rough. I'll ask Draskal in between games. We'll get we'll get thoughts from Draskal. Get, get, give me a few seconds. Uh, Storm had an amazing game. I mean, it's the difference, right? Even with Midas four levels down, he was super farmed. Apparently, he was barely average. Sorry, Mandy. I thought you played great. Honestly, me, I would give you above average. Theo, this guy was MVP. The vision he provided... Insane. Granny, you gonna say anything? No, I'm good. I'm just chilling. Uh, Oracle, damn, supporting 10 out of 10. Only one, t he only had two deaths. That's very good for an Oracle. Unfortunately, he was only worth 1.1k gold. My man's sitting with boots and a wind lace. Well, um. I believe we're going to take... Let me... Let me. Uh, let's see what games are still going on. Is there any games just about to start? There's one right here. Oh! <gasps> we are here. Yo, we've got... The Chinese games are here, boys. I'm actually... This is day two, isn't it, for them? So this is round of 16. The problem here is... Without Jack KBBQ here, I actually have zero clue what the brackets are. You have to find them on Perfect World, and let's be honest. If you've got seen me use a computer... Wait, let me get my... Give me a sec here. I'll, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life right now. Um, that was me using computer. So we've got Avalon Club, Wings Red. I actually don't think Wings Red is very good. But we have Newbie Young. We are definitely watching the Newbie Young game. The problem is we can't join games until the draft's over, it seems. You guys saw me. I was getting kicked out like none other. Also, it's going to be Chinese. We don't know how bad it's going to lag. But I'm going to... I'll be right back. Give me like... Five minutes, you know, get a stretch, you know, take a quick bathroom break, you know, chug another monster, chug another Diet Coke, say, yo, what up, Draskal, you want to go hang out tonight? He's like, yeah, and I'm like, psych, I'm hanging out with other people, and then it turns out I have no friends, but thank you, I'll be back in about five minutes here, uh, make sure to, you know, you know, just be yourself. Cut the camera. Grant, you control the camera, oh shit, you right. 